what is up everyone here to look at the captain of industry uh this is the development our captain's diary number 43 um kind of talk about what's uh, presented here and then uh gives us some interesting things for uh what's coming in uh, update two so uh there is an actual update there is an actual update now or for when update two is coming i actually think it was in our last uh captain's diary that i did not cover but uh captain of industry update two will launch on april 5th there's lots of new things coming here uh first off loans now this is not just your basic uh you know money loan uh this is kind of like a uh, trade so uh You'll be able to buy in-game products with your real money. Just joking. Obviously, they're joking about the idea of a cash shop. Um, so you'll be able to borrow all the essential resources from local settlements. The amount you can borrow will depend entirely on your production track record, meaning the more you produce, the more you can borrow. We loans are, believe loans are a perfect solution, especially since quick trades are often limited by the lack of the right products to exchange. So, interesting. So if you're making a lot of uh, uh, something, then you can uh, yeah. So you could borrow that and make the okay. That's cool. So it's entirely up to you how you approach loans. You can keep them for emergencies or use them as a continuous injection. Interesting. Uh, the better your track record, the more favorable your loan conditions will be. And if you don't pay back, the bank will kidnap your people and pillage your solos just like in real life. I'm kidding. The elements will be more hesitant to lend you products in the future. Okay. And then loan repayments together with interest rates are taken automatically from your dock. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Interesting little thing. Uh, difficulties. So, um, Captain Adventure can be pretty challenging. Striking the right balance is a tricky because everyone enjoys a diff different level of difficulty. We prefer realism because it allows player to optimize more than just layouts as there's an entire economy to deal with. This route deals with complex systems that can lead to death spirals, which, understandably, some players prefer to avoid. They're going to be making the game's difficulty settings more granular and customizable. So we're going to have Sailor, Captain, Admiral... Uh, the first half of the new difficulty selection uh, adjusts factors like productions, yields, resource availability, much like what you're used to. Mechanics, on the other hand, alter your gameplay in more significant ways. We've taken uh, Captain of Industry's realism features like trucks stopping when out of fuel and machines breaking down and grouped them into a new realism mechanic. So if you're looking for a less death spiraling experience, simply disable the realism. Huh. So there will be the game difficulty in general, and then you can still tweak things. So we have uh, general belts and storage units don't require electricity, okay, stuff like that. Uh, resource boost, infinite world mines, tutorials recommended, realism, people die, so you can turn off realism. Realism plus plus, machines and other maintenance consume, uh, consumers stop working when broken. Be ore sorting, which we'll see uh, a little bit later too. To make the game easier for new players, we've added the following simplification, simplifications. Vehicles now slow down rather than complete, stop completely without a fuel. Cargo ships out of fuel? They can chug along on Unity now. If your groundwater's gone, pumps still work just slower. World mines out of Unity will keep mining but at a reduced pace. Even when broken machines and vehicles won't quit, just slow down. And if a machine runs out of power or computing, it'll keep going at a reduced rate. Uh, that definitely is very easy mode especially for brand new players to this game that's for sure uh, this is definitely a high uh, difficulty level game to balance everything out this approach also lets us introduce new challenges or modify gameplay without disrupting the core experience for example update 2 will seamlessly introduce an ore sorting feature so you'll have a lot of fine tuning you can do you can always go to the full difficulty settings menu to fine tune every option. Another big news is that you'll be able to change difficulty settings during the game. Okay. 
This comes in handy when you're 120 hours in and realize a certain setting just isn't working for you. Note that changing a difficulty option comes with a cooldown and your adjustments are logged in your save file. When you adjust the difficulty settings, it's our little secret, just between you, us, and the NSA. Nice. Uh, once applied, you won't be able to change these options again for 10 years in-game. So that is something to note. Um, once you change these, I think it does say it somewhere down here. Um, yeah, you're stuck with that option for 10 years. So you won't be able to make changes to those specific options for 10 in-game years. Uh, we made a couple more changes in the difficulty department. Full deconstruction refund is now an option. Uh, you can get a 20, sailors get a 25% discount. Admirals get a 50% increase in research costs, disease mortality, uh, Admiral see a 100% increase with all sailors experience zero mortality. Quick action cost increased 25% across the board. Admirals including 50%. And power production, we moved the multiplier for traditional generators, but they've added multiple for solar panels. Or sorting. So uh, this one I do find to be interesting. It's one of those I like, but I don't like at the same time. It does 100% add more realism. But uh, definitely going to make things a little harder. So after we added the mixed cargo feature, many of you expressed a need for a more realistic approach. Having to sort the cargo through a sorting plant instead of having trucks magically sort it. It doesn't happen often to ask us to add more complexity. So we couldn't miss such an opportunity added a new ore sorting plant. Now whenever your trucks carry mixed cargo, they must stop by the ore sorting plant to get everything in order. Um, yeah, so... I'm assuming... Let's see if this says anything more about it. The nice thing about our new mechanic system is that we are able to add the ore sorting plant without disrupting existing game sessions. We placed it in a standalone... Uh, doesn't really say much about it. So, is it just that it goes there and it redumps the stuff back in so it's better aligned? Does it make it so then it will just fill up the one or kind of like the recycling plant? It works similar to the waste sorting plant. So, yeah, then I'm assuming that it's going to sort it all out. And then you're, you know, this truck's going to bring, you know, dirt, uh, what dirt iron and coal and then it's going to split into the three and then one truck will take the dirt one truck will take coal one truck will take iron uh you can it has its own mechanic though so we can just deal with it only so you can choose to have that on or off custom services enabled uh Remember when we teased the ability to lay down your own concrete? Well, it might have gotten a little carried away in the best way possible. You're not just getting concrete, you'll have 10 different surfaces to choose from. And for our supporter edition, we're adding an exclusive golden surface to complete the golden statue of maintenance. Nice. Uh, we've also implemented an automatic curb generation to provide a neat separation. Uh, features a fuel truck comfortably parked on one, basking in a 20%. Oh, so when you're on this, you get a 20%... Uh, Maintenance cost reduction. That's awesome. These are metallic options, each ready to add a sleek touch to your island. To ensure these new surfaces look good in large areas, each surface comes with eight unique textures. They are randomly arranged to give a seamless and dynamic appearance. It's a grand total of 88 new textures. You can also replace the default concrete that comes with the original buildings. And decals. Okay. As we have expanded the surface options, we considered adding some hazard versions for each. That's when a light bulb moment happened. Why not offer something far more versatile? The idea of custom decals was born in the upcoming update. You'll be able to paint lines, stripes, arrows, and more directly onto any surface. I approve. I like that. I love how sleek that looks. Ah. 
Uh, we can't wait to see your creations. You can choose 70 different decals and 8 different premium colors handpicked by our scientists. Updated trees. Adding several new tree types, including dry variants. Each tree is harvestable using a tree harvester and features levels of detail for optimal appearance. Uh, so we've been on quite the journey since update one in May 2023. And I want to clarify a few things about our process. Post launch, we didn't just sit back, we squashed bugs, enhanced pathfinding logistics, and in this August rolled out new animation textures that significantly boosted FPS. This set the stage for the main work on update two. Not counting the performance uh, patches, update two still took us some, quite some time, but there are reasons. Besides working on the large map editor, we were building infrastructure supporting new features such as roads and trains. We had hoped to introduce roads in update two, but that would delay the update until summer, which wasn't reasonable. Aww. So with a heavy heart, we had to postpone that effort. That's a bummer. Uh, this was a difficult choice for us as well. On the bright side, update three will come with it will come this year with a shorter wait than update two. Neat. Uh, mainly thanks to the investments we made during our work on update two, so no progress was lost. We're also improving. Some of the particles in update two, big balls in the background won't be included though. Uh, that's just, yeah, that, those look slick. Um, I've noticed some discussions suggesting we don't support mods. Let's set the record straight. Captain Ministry has built in mod support. We've had a sample mod. Um, uh, so there's stuff about the, the, the COI hub. Okay. The new CIO hub. See, question about whether we're not realizing Steam Workshop or other third party services. Uh, we want to ensure that our community's creations are made in the community's hands. So, it looks like they're not going to be using the Steam Workshop. Uh, it'll be in the COI hub. Looks cool. Uh, final confirmation is that update two will be fully backwards compatible with your existing save files from update one. Well, when I play this, I'll be starting over. Uh, that wraps up what we want to share today. See you in update two. Old, new curbs, services, and decals. That looks really nice. All right. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it was in uh, February 29th that they actually gave us the uh, update uh, two uh, information about when update two was coming. So, yeah, it's almost here. That's awesome. All right. Well, there's a quick little update for Captain of Industry, uh, Captain of Industry for update two guys. I'm um, looking forward for this uh, this update to drop. Jumping back into this and playing again. All right. We're gonna call that here. Thanks for watching. If you guys do like what you see, if you like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.